Hello students, lesson number 11, cell structure and microorganisms. Under this lesson, today we will see the next part of the lesson and that is the harmful bacteria because in yesterday's lecture inside we had seen the useful bacteria and which are those useful bacteria that is azetobacter, then um, <coughs> some bacteria are there curing the tuberculosis and all that we had seen some bacteria which are present in the root nodules okay rhizobium it is there and so they are the useful bacteria because they what happens they are useful to us today we will see the harmful microorganisms what happens to the sweet meat or bread forgotten in lunch box for three to four days what happens if we forgot it then what happens we see this kinds of kinds of projection is grown on it okay and what it is it is nothing but it is a fungus then fungus grows on it here if jam or a pick uh, jars of pickle jars of pickle jam muram jam means only muramba etc are open after a long time when we keep it it is as it is and after a long time if we open it then a round layer of white scum or black particles particles may appear to our appear means in that jar what happens we see the upper layer this is the black layer we can see upper layer that is it looks so black so what it is it is nothing but it is the fungus then in summer milk and meat get spoiled quickly why then the reason is the fungus only fungus grows quickly on the moist and the stale food if stale food is there or moist food is there on it the fungus grows what do we do with such a spoiled food and why what we have to do with this such with such food so we have to throw it because it is dangerous for the health because on it the harmful bacteria are grows on it so next point is the food poisoning that we will see and then we will see the next part as they use foodstuffs for their own nutrition okay who these bacteria funguses these funguses what happens they use the use food stuff means whatever muramba it may be there it may be the pickle or a bread from that what happens the useful things from that it get what uh, food stuffs they are taking for their own nutrition some microbes release toxic material some microbes are there they are releasing the toxic material that is enterotoxin is that material into the food okay so because of it what happens such a food becomes toxic food for the person or toxic spoil in the food eating such a spoil food can cause the loose motions okay diarrhea omitting such a type of problems are facing when we are eating the food which is food uh, food get spilled spoil that then use your brain power how will you know that food stuff is spoiled it's a taste changes it's odor changes okay it's, it gives bad odor it taste changes it's a uh, quality also changes okay for example when uh, the chapati or the rice bakri it gets spoiled what happens a sticky layer is formed inside it if you observe it otherwise curry or amti what we are saying that is left it shows the what the uh, it shows another sticky sub it, they are looking like a sticky what precautions we have to take while purchasing food what we have to do we have to see the date of expiry and date of manufacture why because when the food get expired then microbes grows on it and the quality of food what happens decreases and it becomes what harmful for 
the person who is eating such a food why do food poisoning incidents occur during marriage or other community feast so here why do poisoning uh, means incident occur because in such a type of places what happens the food gets spoiled because of the microbes are grows on it and then food get spoiled so in such a places the cleanliness is not takes place or uh, taking by means sometime and due to this what happens some fungus and all grows that material is used in the prepare at the time of preparing food and due to this what happens the food get spoiled now always remember which things we have to always remember that is first we have to eat fresh and properly covered food which that is fresh and properly covered food we have to eat next we have to drink the boiled water okay then third point hold the handkerchief over your mouth we have to hold the handkerchief over your mouth and nose when you are coughing or even when you are sneezing at that time we have to hold the handkerchief next don't allow garbage and water to accumulate around your house that is important when this garbage or the waste is collected around our house what happens the micro micro bacteria grows on it and what happens the surrounding in become what not healthy for us next point is the pathogens disease producing micro organism pathogens we just had before that only i told you which are the pathogens the pathogens are the micro organism those who are spreading the diseases so here it is pathogen may be present in water bodies contaminated with the sewage a dirt from the surrounding so these pathogen my pathogens are present where the con means contaminated water or sewage in the food left uncovered if we put left uncovered inside it also unhygienic conditions are there there it the pathogens are go with house flies sitting on it etc if a such a food contaminated food or water is consumed if we eat such a food then we may fall ill with diseases of alimentary canal because that food we are means contaminated food we are taking into our body and that's why the alimentary canals are the canals diseases we are facing and which are those diseases amebiosis which those diseases are there amebiosis means amoeba enter in the body typhoid cholera hepatitis gastro these diseases are spread due to this such type of food eating then pathogens are released in the air when a person having infection of the respiratory tracts okay if we have the infection of respiratory nowadays we are using the mask we are covering our mouth and the nose to protect ourselves from the which corona disease same way we have to what uh, person having infection uh so have to means he have to <coughs> means by this person he the, the person who is suffering from this he is spreading the what diseases via air a healthy person may get infected with such a pathogen on breathing in the same air and contract the diseases like common cold you know that if your friend has the cough common cold then you are also getting this disease and because of the reason behind it is that its microorganisms are there they are the uh, pathogens when it comes in the air they enter in your respiratory tract and it affects your body also so common cold cough diphtheria pneumonia tuberculosis these diseases are there that are spread when you are com coming in contact with that person who is suffering this diseases now next it is the mosquitoes reproduce in the places like where heaps of garbage means its number is what happens increases reproduction so drains drainage water is there stagnant water okay 
then microbes that causes diseases like malaria dengue elephantiasis yellow fever chikungunya zika fever etc gain entry into the human body the human body through the bite of a female mosquito these diseases are there which dengue yellow fever elephantiasis then malaria the diseases chikungunya chika fever are spread due to the pathogens when the animal bites to uh, through this what happens it is spread next it is the swachh bharat abhiyan you know that we from last uh, so many years the swachh bharat abhiyan is there conducted a gadge baba gram swachhta abhiyan under this so almost 80% of all diseases occur due to uncleanliness okay if the our area our surrounding our house is unclean it spread the different diseases keeping our surrounding clean avoiding litter and disposing garbage properly avoiding defection of the open are some easy ways to stop the spread of diseases so we have to follow these diseases to avoid the or to stop the way spread of diseases swachh bharat abhiyan is 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 a national movement it is national movement started several years ago to increase awareness about the public hygiene to increase the pub, uh, awareness about public hygiene the swachh bharat abhiyan is conducted in our india along with habits of the personal hygiene okay let us participate in this movement by starting the cleanliness drive in our school and in our neighbor okay now this is about the swachh bharat abhiyan make sure and check is the water tank and the water in it clean okay we have to make sure about it are the water tanks and the toilets in the school clean is the water that accumulates in the pot tire can etc around the house drained properly promptly why we have to look this because the mosquitoes grows in such a places and it what happens it number increases it causes the diseases are the water storage contain clean cleaned regularly okay so we have to make sure about it do you know what exactly happen when we have fever what happens our body temperature what happens is increases then the healthy person means our healthy person is there it's a body temperature is 37 degree celsius if microorganism enter in our body our immune system start acting in the body temperature rises so any microorganism enter as you know that wbc is they are fighting with that micro and in this process inside the body temperature is rises this destroys the microorganisms and the site of injury also feel warm for some reason okay so that is about the information now use your brain power question is there what is the correlation between the normal body temperature in the human which is 37 degree celsius and optimum temperature for the growth of microorganism is 15 degree celsius to 35 degree celsius okay so we have to find out the relation between this so the relation between this two is our body temperature is how much that is 37 degree celsius when our that uh, and mosquito needs how much temperature 15 to 35 degree and it is favorable for the for this micro organisms growth okay and that is because of it what happens they are that uh, means affects on our body what happens when clothes remain damp in rainy season what happens it gives bad odor what are the black and white spots sometimes seen on the gunny bags these are nothing but these are the fungus these are gunny bags means potto we are saying no that it's called as a gunny bags why are the leather articles like purse wallet belt footwear other always polished before storing away 
when we are not polished polishing means what we are doing we are covering its upper layer with a substance when we are not polishing what happens fungus grow on it then what is the powdery material found on the old currency notes or old rubber or the paper what it is it is fungus all the material mentioned above that is gunny bag cotton clothes paper rubber etc are plant products and leather is an animal product in the humid atmosphere fungi and some microorganisms <coughs> grow on this article and spoil and damage the article so all these four questions answer is given here okay 1 2 3 and 4 all questions answer is present here so this we have finished today the lesson number 11 that is microorganisms <coughs> cell structure and microorganism so from this lesson i told you so many students send me the diagrams from this who left those draw this diagrams all diagrams you have to draw from this and then you have to take out may uh, that questions prepare the question and answers from this lesson then afterwards today you have to find, learn the definitions from this and all of you complete the exercise which is given on page number 80 okay so that is the work so today we will stop here only okay thank you and have a good day